Indonesian registered boat Transtar 2501 went aground off the coast of Lanyu near the Irarale community on October 8th. On board the barge were nine excavators, 17 trucks, four bulldozers, and five generators, along with five other machines. The body of the barge later broke apart and all its cargo sunk into the ocean. It's been a month since the accident, but related authorities are not taking any action to deal with this situation. We went to catch fish about 200 or 300 meters away from the accident site. But the fish, after cooked, tasted like fuel. Now, our community members dare not fish around this area. It's hard to estimate the extent of the pollution in the ocean. Local residents fished about 300 meters away from the accident site, thinking the fish will not be affected. But they were wrong. The sea has been badly damaged and the pollution is expanding. While in Harbor Bureau officials explain how the situation is being handled. According to Tao Zili from the Hualin Harbor Bureau, they have told the shipping company to propose a salvage plan before November 10th. If the company doesn't follow the order, it will get fined by the Hualin Harbor Bureau. According to commercial port regulations, the company could be fined up to 600,000 NT dollars. However, although authorities have asked the shipping company to take emergency action, no action has been taken yet. The ocean, which Lanu residents rely on for their livelihood, is now polluted. The pollution not only hurts Lanu people's livelihood, but also threatens their health. TITV Weekly.